welcome back to Grace's room. So I'm sure you all know about the new iOS 14 update that Apple has just released for iPhones and iPads. And usually I don't really get too excited about new updates that they do, but this one I was actually really excited about because not only does it have some really cool new features, but it also allows you to now customize your own home screen to suit your aesthetic. And I've seen a lot of people over the past few days sharing their new home screens and how they've customized it. And that has inspired me to also really want to customize my own home screen. So today I thought I'd show you the process of me doing that, just in case you guys also wanted to do the same thing. So this is my current home screen. As you can see, it's very bland and basic. Uh, and the first thing I had to decide was what aesthetic I wanted to actually go for with my home screen. And I had lots, a lot of different ideas in my head, but I ended up going for a neutral, nudish, sort of light pink tone. Um, and as you can see, I love light pink, so that's definitely why I ended up choosing that. Um, and I hopped straight onto Pinterest and I just collected a bunch of images that sort of has uh, like a neutral tone to them. I downloaded them and saved them to my camera roll. So now they're all available for me when I'm creating my home screen. Uh, and the first thing I just want to really quickly get out of the way is I'm going to change my wallpaper because that's like the basis for um, this aesthetic. And if you don't know how to change your wallpaper, just go to settings, go to wallpaper, choose new wallpaper. Um, photos and then I'm gonna go for this really pretty sort of like it's like a fairy lights it's like neutral colored uh, fairy lights just gonna position that okay and then press set set for home screen and bam that's all done so another really cool feature about the iOS 14 update is that now you can add widgets onto your home screen. And if you don't know what widgets are, they're basically like little icons that display key information about particular apps. Um, that might be like your battery, uh, the weather, even like the news, or even like your notes app. Um, but yeah, there's lots of different things you can do with the widgets. And what's really cool is that now you can actually customize the widgets and you can add them onto your home screen. So they used to live to like, um, was it the left? Um, yeah, it's the left of your home screen, but now you can actually put them amongst all of your other apps on your home screen. Um, but firstly, what I want to do is actually remove all of these apps that I have on my home screen at the moment. I don't mean like delete them because another feature is that they've introduced a app library. So if you swipe to the left of your screen, it should appear. And what it's done is it's automatically categorized all of your apps just based on the apps and like really neatly and so now if you don't want certain apps on your home screen you know if you don't really want it to make it look if you don't really want it to be too cluttered on your home screen you can now place them in the app library so they're to the side out of your way um, and to place the apps that are on your home screen into the app library you're just going to go into edit mode so just hold down on your home screen and so now your phone's in edit mode and you're going to be pressing just on this little minus sign and it will come up with the option to remove from home screen. So I'm just going to press that. Um, again, I'll, I'll do it again just in case you didn't get that. Um, sometimes it'll come up with delete app and you obviously don't want to delete it. But just press on the option to move to app library. And now if you swipe to the side, it will be in your app library. So I'm going to go ahead and just move all of my apps on my home screen to the app library. You'll see later on why I did that because through shortcuts, I'm going to add all the important apps that I want back on my home screen. But for now, I'm just going to quickly delete them all. Or not delete them, move them to the app library. So I've moved all my apps, including all the ones I have saved down in the favorites tab, um, to the app library. But I've left three apps here that are going to actually help me customize my home screen. I'll remove them to the app library when I'm done. But um, now, for my home screen, I want to have uh, two pages and I want to have an arrangement of like uh, some apps and widgets among those two pages, um, but I want them to all have that neutral theme, obviously. And uh, firstly, I think I want to quickly customize the widgets that I want to appear on my home screen. And to do that, I'm going to be using the two apps, Color Widgets and Widgetsmith. So I'll quickly go through Color Widgets first. This app is pretty cool. Um, it uh, allows you to display a widget on your home screen that shows the time and the date, but it has lots of different templates as well, so you can like have a different, customize the look um, of it on your home screen. Um, but I wanna add my own photo to the background of this widget. So I'm just gonna be choosing a basic template up here, so just this one here. Um, and I'm gonna be adding, scrolling down to the bottom and adding a photo, background photo. And I think I want to choose just this one here. There we go. It just has like an arrangement of like neutral colors. I think it'll look really pretty on the home screen. Um, and now you can choose the font that you want it to be. So I might choose this cursive font and even the color as well. So I might do a 
white color. Oh, it was already a white color, but oh well. All right, and now I'm gonna be pressing set widget. So just this button, this button uh, down below here. And so now that will be the active widget. So now when I add it to my home screen, again, just holding down on the home screen, plus pressing this little plus button, um, I can scroll down to the color widgets app down here. Um, I might have it, I think I'm gonna have it in the medium form. So I'm gonna add that widget and now it's on my home screen. So that was pretty easy. Um, the only thing with the Color Widgets app is that you can only have the date and the time. Whereas now if you use the Widget Smith app, um, you can um, add like a to-do list, uh, the date and time again, the weather, the, have a lot, it has a lot of um, other really cool features with the Widget Smith app. Um, as you can see, I've already added a few photo widgets. Um, I'm gonna be using the rest of the photo, <laughs> the rest of the widgets that I'm gonna be adding to my home screen are just gonna be photo widgets. So I already added a few here. I have one medium and I've got three um, small ones, but I'm gonna show you how to add another um, widget. So I'm gonna add one more small widget. So I'm just gonna press on it. And I'm just gonna press, see where it says default widget. I'm just gonna press right in the middle here. And now it has uh, lots of different options. I can um, choose for this widget that I want to appear on my home screen. Um, so I think I'm gonna just choose a photo, oh yeah, I'm gonna choose a photo widget. And then it's going to go down to selected photo. I'm going to press choose photo. And so now I can choose whatever photo I want. I think I want this Chanel building. There we go. And so now um, I'm just going to press on the square. It says tap to rename. I'm just going to rename it to Chanel. Just so I know which one to choose. And then I'm just going to press this button up here, save. And now it is a widget that will appear on my home screen. Obviously I need to add it to my home screen first. So now again, just gonna hold down on my home screen, press this little plus button, and then I'm gonna scroll down to the very bottom to Widget Smith. And as you can see, it's not gonna come up with the widget that you just customized. First thing you need to actually add the widget to your home screen, and oh, luckily it actually just, um, the one I just customized did appear, but if the one that, if one of the ones that you customize doesn't appear, you're just gonna press on, hold down on the Widget Smith um, widget, and you're gonna press edit widget, just that button there, and then it will come up with like this, this little bar here and it will show you the one that's currently displaying on your home screen. But if you press on that, it will come up with all the other ones that you've customized. So I might want to do this Lana Del Rey one that I have here and there we go. Now it's on my home screen. So I'm going to be adding um, all of the other widgets that I've customized to my home screen really quickly on the Widget Smith app. So I'll do that again. Um, I'm going to add one of the medium widgets now, so again just add widget and again that one just appeared there, but um, now I'm going to add a few more small ones, so I'll quickly do that. Alright, so I've just sorted out um, what widgets I want on each page, so as you can see they're all there now. Um, but what I'm going to actually do now is I'm going to be showing you how you can actually stack these widgets. So this is another really cool feature that you can do with the iOS 14 update is that you can stack these widgets so you might um, want to for example like show the battery life um, as one of the widgets but you don't really want to appear you don't really want it to appear on your home screen so what you can do is you can go again just back up to the plus button here scroll down to batteries so I'm just going to add the small widget um, and now you can actually stack this widget on top of one of the other existing widgets so I'm going to put it on top of this Mariah Carey one here and so now that way I can scroll between the two of them and it will reveal the battery life one underneath that. I think that's really cool as well because you know I, want, I might want to show the battery life but I don't really want it to appear like right on the home screen because it doesn't really match the aesthetic. So now I can swipe and it will appear. Alright anyway so that's all for the widgets. Now what I'm going to be doing is customizing the apps on my home screen. So I'm going to be adding up, adding back all of the important apps that I want to appear on my home screen and I'm going to be doing that through shortcuts. So with shortcuts, this feature has actually been here for like a while, but I didn't discover it until um, all the customizing your home screen um, first like got in, like, introduced and stuff. Um, but with shortcuts, basically what you can do is you can customize the, um, the look of the icon of the app. That probably didn't really make sense, but um, all you're gonna do is you're going to go onto shortcuts and you're going to add a new shortcut. So if you just press on this little plus button up here in the right. I'm just gonna press add action and you're gonna search open app. And so basically what we want this shortcut to do is open the app when we press on it on my on the home screen. So I'm gonna search up open app and it should be one of the first things that come up, just open app and it has all the little colorful, the icon has all the little colorful squares on it. 
and then I'm going to press choose and I think I'm just going to do settings for now because that's a pretty important app that I frequently use and then I'm going to press on these little three dots up here in the corner and once I press on that I'm going to give the shortcut a name so I'm just going to call it settings and then I'm going to press add to home screen which is just below that and so again I'm just going to call it settings um, whatever name you give it here is what's going to appear on your home screen so settings and then just to um, next to it right here I'm going to press on this little icon and now I can actually choose the um, icon for the photos so for settings I think I might choose this really cute vinyl here there we go choose and then I'm just going to be pressing add done done and so now when I get out of that then settings will now appear as an app on my home screen so if I press on that as you can see it takes me straight to settings and yeah so I think that's really cool because now I can customize the icon um, to fit the aesthetic and it will still open up the app so I'll show you again just in case you didn't get that um, so again just going to go to shortcuts press this little plus button add action I'm going to search up open app press open app choose the app uh, maybe we'll do camera this time there we go and then I'm going to press on the three dots give it a name add to home screen again call it camera choose photo I'll do this camera here obviously because it's the camera app <laughs> choose done done and now again I'll get out and the camera app will be there so I'm going to do that for the rest of the other 18 apps that I want to appear on my home screen. It's a little bit of a long process, but it looks really cool in the end. Okay, so I finished adding back all the apps. Um, I've also customized the icons and I think it looks really cute. I'm really happy with all the photos that I chose. But now I'm going to quickly arrange all of the apps. So I'll put all these apps back down to my favorites tab. Then I will just put it there. There we go. That's all done. So now I have got my home screen. That's pretty much all for my home screen. I'm gonna quickly um, move all these shortcuts, like the shortcuts and widgets, this just back to the app library because I don't need them anymore now. And there we have it. My home screen is all done. And that looks, I think it looks so cute. I love all the um, icons that I chose and I think it definitely matches the aesthetic that I was going for. Um, but I know I wanted to keep this video mainly just focused on like um, customizing like my home screen and everything and like how to and all the new features that come with it. But um, I really wanted to show you guys this other really cool feature that the iOS 14 update has introduced and that is the back tap. So basically when you um, either double tap or triple tap on the back of your screen, it will enable some function that you assign to it. So to, um, to, to, uh, to open it, you have to go to settings, um, go to accessibility, touch, scroll down to back tap, make sure it's enabled first of all, and then you can assign a certain um, like feature um, or action to the, depend, um, to the tap. So for double tap, I have app switcher accessed and for triple tap, I have a screenshot accessed. So now when I get out of it, if I double tap on the back of my screen, it will, oh, when I triple tap on the back of my screen, I mean, um, it will take a screenshot of my page. Um, whereas if I double tap, it will um, show all of the apps that I have opened. Uh, so that's a really cool feature as well and another thing with the back tab you can also assign a uh, shortcut to the tab as well so if you want to open up like an app or something like that that you did through shortcuts you can do that too with that back tab but I just want to really quickly mention that because I thought it was really cool and I was um, so happy when I found that I could do that but that's pretty much all um, for this video I hope you guys enjoyed uh, me customizing my home screen I had so much fun doing it and hopefully it's helpful to any of you guys who also want to try and customize your own um, iOS 14 home screen um, but uh, if you guys want some inspiration for like the aesthetic 
um, for your home screen or you want to even use some of the images that I used today for my home screen, um, you can check out my Pinterest, um, that is Grace Ariana 16 I have a few uh, mood boards that I've created that have a few different aesthetics and even the images that I used on them, so you can check that out if you want. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram at Grace's World Official, and I'll see you guys next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now.